To make your stencil graffiti, you need to first of all paint the background, which is white. To start, stick your stencil to the wall with some adhesive tape. To spray a design which has two colors from one stencil, start by doing the outlines with the background color of your choice, which is white in this case. Next, fill in your design with a white background. You can choose another light color to give contrast with the primary color of your design. A tip, spray paint isn't like deodorant, so you don't need to use too much of it or go over the same piece of wall multiple times. Doing so will only spoil your art. To finish, Place the new stencil on the wall and paint the outlines in black, going over the white background. You can use a pen, a paintbrush, or a wooden stick to keep the paper stencil pressed as close to the wall as possible. It is also advised to wear gloves, which will allow you to keep the stencil as close to the wall as possible, whilst protecting your skin. And here's the end result. Note that it's important that the wall is a contrasting color to that of your design. Although it's not the case here, you can also choose to draw a white outline around the design, in this case a dog, to really set it apart from the wall. If you want, you can complete your design adding in a few finishing touches. For this, you may need a marker pen containing black paint. Fill in any white parts as you so wish, or just embellish your design. These finishing touches are not at all obligatory, so they're totally up to you. And besides, a lot of artists, like Tattoo, prefer leaving their artworks in their most raw forms. 